what we're going to do, I'm going to put a counter on the screen right over here, maybe. And it's going to count how many different reasons we can think of that we're not learning everything we should. And uh, let's get it underway. This episode is brought to you by NAVAC. Check out their new NTB7L battery-powered tubing bender. And Yellow Jacket with their brand new A2L compatible Turbo Recover recovery machine. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and listen to somebody who just just graduated trade school because I don't care how smart you think you are. You don't know all the stuff that I know because I've been around the trade for 30 years. You haven't seen the things I have, and just because you read a book and you saw a few pictures doesn't make you a tradesman. Yeah, like I'm going to sit here and listen to some guy who was born before dirt that doesn't even have an iPhone that wants to tell me all about what we're supposed to be doing out here when he can't even fill out the invoices on the tablet correctly. Did you see this guy? He, he doesn't even know how to bring up the invoicing program. I have to sit there and show him every single time. There's no way I'm going to learn anything from somebody who is that far backwards. No, I didn't see anything on... You're talking about you watching YouTube to learn how to do HVAC stuff? You know that's just a bunch of junk, right? I saw a guy on YouTube blowing refrigerant out the side of his unit. You can't go to YouTube to learn anything about the trade. How are you going to know what's right and wrong? I don't, even, I don't even turn that crap on because I'd rather just... I'd rather not even be exposed to anything than have to turn that crap on and try to listen to it. Yeah, I was watching Shop Talk the other day, and for the love of everything, if he mentions the freaking Bible one more time, I'm never going to watch his channel again. I don't care. Now, I don't care what it says in there. I mean, I'm not listening to some story about a guy up in the sky telling me how to do HVAC work or do anything else. I can't even believe these dudes even believe this crap. No, I know. I know. It's just, how am I going to listen to somebody who talks like that? If you're going to believe in fairies in the sky, then I can't learn anything from someone like that. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw her getting out of the truck. Yeah, she's gonna be she's gonna be like the, the the lady walking by the prison that everybody's looking at out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't know. I, I might ask her out. I don't know. Uh, no, she. No, they said she was Nate certified, but you know what? It ain't like what well, she's Nate certified in baking. Why do you need a number for tech support? No, nah, man, just open it up and figure it out. It ain't that hard. Yeah. What is the first time you've seen City Multi? Just, you don't need any tech support, dude. Only people who call tech support are women and young techs. Now, man, why am I going to read a book about, why am I going to read the rack manual when I can sit here and read How to Make It to the Top in Three Easy Steps by John Q. Salesman? I don't care anything about a stupid midpoint in the evaporator coil. I tell you what, they don't get the point, is what I'm saying, because all I have to do is get these guys on commission. They'll be fired up. They're going to sell all sorts of stuff. We're going to get some change outs out of it. I mean, I don't care. If the unit's eight years old, that sucker's coming out. We're going to make some money, and I'm going to be on a boat in 10 years. I promise you that. I know what that guy, he, he fired me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the biggest, baddest company around. I'm going to hire him. And fire him, and I hope I get to do it soon because I'm itching for it. Now I don't, I don't care about the money. I just want to get that guy working for me and a couple of them techs at my old company. Hire them, keep them around for three days, and fire them. Think about it, guys. There's so many obstacles you're putting in your own way, and on this list, there's quite a few that I can pick. Pride. Let's just start with pride. Which ones are in your way? Comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please put a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know what you think in the comments. Taking time to give a like and put a comment down really helps the channel grow. So I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. And God bless each and every one of you.